Three claps, your boy Swain's back. Back at it again. Swain Swaggy Sense bringing to y'all and giving to y'all another video. You know, as you can hear in my voice, I'm still a little bit congested. Didn't think I was going to have the energy or the want to do this video. I was going to just wind up doing it tomorrow. But like, as far as I can see, I, I want to keep doing this. Like, this is something that my escape from the reality of the world and this is kind of like a hobby that kind of centers you i think a lot of people have different things that kind of center them to bring them back to themselves and this is something that brings me back to myself and so i had to muscle it through <clears throat> excuse me if i kind of cough in the video i'm not going to give you any germs or anything like that you know what i mean wear your mask if you feel uncomfortable i don't know but in this video, I'm going to go over a fragrance that is going to be uh, a clone of Initio's Atomic Rose. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this review. So first, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers to helping me get the 302 subscribers. Never would have thought that I would have got this far, to be honest. This was just kind of something I love doing and and putting my effort in and gaining confidence through this too. Like, because I started off, I'm sure if you were my faithful and loyal, <clears throat> my loyal uh, subscribers, you would have seen the first video where it's just like, I was trash, like literally doo, doo Like, and now, I'm at a point where I feel so comfortable talking about fragrances, explaining and breaking down fragrances to y'all so y'all can be able to better have some type of idea of a scent that you would see fit for you. And it's just so amazing. I feel the love of all my subscribers. I feel like just, I feel and like, I don't even know what to say right now. Like it's, it's, it's really a blessing. I'm very grateful. I only see myself going further from this you know and it's we're just gonna do it we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing so just gotta give a shout out mad love to all of my subscribers all 302 of y'all so to this fragrance for today it's going to be from the house of latafa and that's latafa's Bere el oud amethyst a nice little purple bottle similar to initio's atomic rose and obviously similar notes to this as well. So what you got, we're gonna try and work this out because as I told you, congestion and this is kind of oody and mm, 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 my nose is not going to be feeling this. So off the top, you're gonna, it's gonna smell a little synthetic, but it's not going to really, you know, bother you that much because you'll, you'll smell that ambery, and rosy note of Bulgarian rose. You have Turkish rose in there, some vanilla. And I think the vanilla honestly is the um, the saving grace of this fragrance because that's what kind of mellows and, and clears the air of that syntheticness and the uh, rose that might be too floral, but definitely, definitely a pretty scent and a masculine scent as well. It's just like you, you when you smell fragrances, it can be pretty and it can be masculine or it could be pretty and it can be feminine or it doesn't matter. But this one, definitely a unisex fragrance. You can, women can pull this off too. If, if they into the ooze, if they into that rich, dark, ambery, you know, jasmine, it has some jasmine in there as well. Rose and um, very, uh, I will say this is honestly an uplifting scent and I definitely got complimented by my uh, my coworker as well as my art teacher at my job. And, uh, you know, I was talking to her and she always gives me her daily hug when she comes in. And uh, she's not the one that got me sick, people, so don't point the finger. Um, she, she always, you know, like, and I've been down, she's like four foot two. And she's just the nicest old, she, I was about to say old, crazy. But she's just the nicest lady. And, um... You know, I hugged her and she was just like, wow, like you smell, you smell pleasant. And it was so funny because it's like, wow, I had, I've never heard you smell pleasant. I've heard that you smell good, but pleasant, that is, that's a, you, you made it, you made it. And I keep blinking because I feel like an eyelash had fell into my eye and it's, uh, 
yeah so got that taken taken care of i think if not we're gonna keep this thing moving i want to keep this thing moving so this is a, a you know fall and winter scent you definitely don't want to pull this out in the spring or summer it's never this is such a uh, this is such an intoxicating and heavy scent that if you were to wear this in the spring and summer you were clear out the room literally no one would want to sit next to you unless they have like mask on for real so you know and with the top of two you know obviously these middle eastern fragrances are killing the game um with this being the amethyst which would be the clone of initials atomic rose they also have a similar bottle style as this which would be the um Badial oud oud for glory which would be the clone of oud for greatness which is from initials and i don't have that one and i don't care because i have a fragrance that is also a clone of that from the house of afnon though which would be the supremacy in oud from afnon and that is going to be my um shout out to this since you know i brought up oud for greatness and that is great but back to the scent definitely a 12 hour fragrance you know you're you're going to get a nice little scent bubble it's going to stick to your clothes a lot stick to your skin pretty pretty like it's it's going to you know stick to you it's going to stick to your skin it's going to stick to your you know your clothes it's going to stick to your eyelids it's going to stick to your fingers it's going to stick to everywhere and i'm telling you people are just going to keep asking you what you smell like and you're going to be like i smell like well not greatness but i guess i guess you can pull it off and, <laughs> and say i smell like amethyst Boo! but yeah that's corny never mind but i wanted to make this uh this clip or video rather short and sweet once again um was a bit under the weather but i still muscled through hopefully you gained a lot of knowledge from this this can be uh, ordered off of Amazon. This is a $30 fragrance, pretty inexpensive. Um, this is definitely a collector's item as well. If you're not into this, this could be a good gift for someone that's really into fragrances. Definitely, definitely would recommend it for people that are into fragrances because a lot of the, uh, I wouldn't say average Joes, but we gonna call them average Joes now. But a lot of the average Joes, they wouldn't really, you know, get the, the nose trained to smell something like this to be able to enjoy and like it. And I think that goes with all the fragrances that people would have over time because your nose gets used to certain things and then, you know, it wants to smell new things. And then once you smell new things, it's just kind of like buying a buying the newest console. Like, you know, you started off with the PlayStation and it started off with the PS2, which was one of the best consoles ever. Then it started off with the, then it started with the P PS3 and then you kept going. It's just kind of like you keep wanting more because you had already gained all the knowledge that you wanted from the first one, the second one, the third one, you just got to keep going. So that's my spill on that anyway. But once again, going to drop this to y'all. This is Badaul by El La Tapa and this is Amethyst. And this is the clone of Initios Atomic Rose. I want to say they got a plaque on the bottom. <laughs> It's just literally like they are literally the other cousin that wants to dress like the big cousin. That's what <laughs> that's what it is. Cause if you see the bottle of Initios bottles, is literally like the same concept. But obviously, they're gonna have to switch some things up because they don't want to get sued and all of this other type of stuff. But I literally, it's just like the cousin that wants to be like the big cousin, and this is the little cousin. The big cousin is the actual fragrance, but. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to keep going because my uh, light just fell down. It don't matter. We're going to keep this thing rocking. And love y'all. Peace.